click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about the comparison between an object oriented, the object relational database as well as in a relational system on the schema on a database. We will compare each of this language in different sections so that we can get an idea that which language has to be used in which section. Now that we know that an object-oriented database is based on a persistent programming language and that can be an object-oriented paradigm nature. Now the object relational mapped system is the based on a relational model on the top having an object layer oriented to it. And finally, the object relational data model is based on a relational model implementing object-oriented feature to it. Now see what are the three ones. First one is the persistent programming languages that is based on entirely in programming language. The second and third one is based on a relational model while having the second one an attached object layer to it and the third one having an object oriented features implemented to it. Now we will see that each of the section and how they are different in each of the scenario. Well, these three sections are equally important in different kind of market. So according to their need, we have to use the different types of this object-oriented paradigm. Now first, SQL being a declarative language as well as a limitations to the power to the queries, it makes the most protection to the data that is provided to it and also it takes less computation time that will be taken by more in this object-oriented language. But it access time is very much higher because SQL generally deals with the main memory application and where if it has a got a large database in the secondary memory, then the access time will be very higher for SQL to access the data from the large database, fetch it to the main memory, get the result back into the main memory from the secondary memory again. Now that is the pros and cons of having a relational system and an object-oriented layer that is a particular object-oriented programming layer built on this. Now the object relational mapping blurs these boundaries because it first extends from the relational schema and then implement each of the object-oriented feature to it. So now the conversion from the object-oriented paradigm to the relational paradigm is not done here. So the reduction to the schema is become more powerful in an object relational mapping rather than being an object relational database. Now, where the large computation time is required for having a large database stored in the secondary memory and the application needs high performance, so we will choose the object-oriented database. That means it will be based on a persistent programming languages, mostly based on the persistent data, and that makes many powers to be given to it. But as there are many powers to be given to the user, the data protection becomes lower. However, obviously the computation time and the access time will be much lower compared to the other two of this database system. So now, if we summarize the strengths of each of the system, first move with the relational schema that has got the simpler data types, powerful query languages, and less computation time. Now the object relational mapping provides the complex data types, the powerful querying language, and the less computation time. Now if we move to the objected oriented programming database, that means the object oriented database will have the strengths of having complex data types, integrated features on persistent programming languages, and less computation time where the object relational database provides as a relational schema an object layer on the top of it, complex data types, but high computation time. So in this way, we can categorize the summarized strength on each of the system, but we need to know that some application actually blurs all the boundaries between an object relational, object-oriented, and object relational mapped databases. 
So now there is no need to convert the object features to the relational schema and support they provide the storage for the relational schema as well as the features of an object oriented programming based on a persistent storage combined into a single applications. So that is the demand of the application that we need to take care and, and after that accordingly we need to build a particular object related object relation mapped or object oriented database to the, our database design part. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.